Hello friends, welcome to the channel Creative Art. My name is Nilma and today we are going to do our watercolor painting. This is our first watercolor painting so it is very easy and I will hope you will also take interest in watercolor painting as you took in a glass painting. I have shown very easy ways how you can paint a watercolor painting and this was our first painting and I have done it in very few easy and very simple steps. Please do try it and make mistakes and do learn from your mistakes because watercolor painting however it looks very beautiful. All the materials required to make this watercolor painting are mentioned in the description box below as well as shown in the video. To copy this image please click on the link www.creativeathome.com So enjoy painting friends. First of all I am going to list out all the materials which we are going to require for the watercolor painting. We are going to use Camlin artistic watercolor for painting. You can also use the Camlin watercolors for students but I use the artist watercolor. The second thing is we are going to use brushes, a flat brush, soft hair 38 mm, Sibyl hair brush round and a flat one and two very thin hair and a long hair brush. Third is a spray bottle. The most important thing which we are going to use is a handmade watercolor paper. This is from Chitrapat. I'll show you the paper is made from 100% cotton fiber, acid free, especially used for watercolor, poster color and acrylic paint. And the last thing we require is a palette which should be very clean and white color. These are my watercolor paintings and it's a pack of 18 shades. So first of all using a pencil we'll draw the shape of the fish initially you have to draw it very light okay so here the sketch is ready now I have already taken a color photograph of the painting which I want to make. We are going to make a disc fish okay and this is the first watercolor painting we are going to make because it would be easy. So let's pour the colors which are required in our palette. We are going to require yellow, a bit of lemon yellow, we also require red. orange somewhere will require cobalt blue and green you can use cobalt blue or else Persian blue is also well As you know friends, color use of white and black are prohibited in watercolor painting. So we won't be using it in any case. Okay. For watercolor painting, you have to keep your painting inclined to at least 35 to 45 degrees. So this is how I prefer. And I have properly placed it. So now very gently, we'll apply first layer of our color. I have mixed very light quantity of yellow with a lot of water and giving this a uh, bit yellow shape then i'll also mix a bit of red in the water Okay, so now the first layer is done. I let it get dry for some time and then we'll paint the next layer, okay? Now the first layer has got dried up. So I'm putting the second layer. In the tail, I'll color some green to give it some different look.
then I'll take a bit Persian blue very light quantity of it I'm taking some yellow and I'll start it from here making some zigzag lines. You have to just keep making some zigzag lines with the thin airbrush. Now I'll use a bit of dark green at this corner to give it a shape and lighting. So here is our fish perfectly made using watercolors. You can also give some drops aside to look this more beautiful and alive i'm also going to make the fins when it gets dried up so we'll let the second coating get dried up now finally after the first and second layer has got dried up i'm going to make the fin So this is finally completed but we are going to do few more steps. So for that we'll uh, completely dip and wash the brush first and make some places of the paper wet as much as we want. Only the areas we want to cover and throw some paint on it. 
okay so the paper is wet enough now now we'll dip the brush in a very light color and throw some paint on paper in any direction we like okay next take some blue I'll also take some purple color then this is my favorite spray and this is what perfectly it will give a look of watercolor painting our main fish is completely made and after that this was just a double effect what i wanted to give which will make appear my painting look more beautiful please do try this beautiful and very easy fish watercolor painting at your home friends here is how our watercolor painting looks when it has got dried up it is very easy and this was our first watercolor painting i hope you'll like our first watercolor painting and please do subscribe my channel for more watercolor paintings as i'm going to soon post them one by one